So Facebook has banned the word. Banned a word. The word, the word is honk. That's right, honk for violating the community standards. Where does this end, right? So censorship is uh, taking a, a, a breath forward. Protect the snowflakes. You know, in the, in the old days, censorship used to be about, you know, pre- preventing kids from hearing dick and pussy and, and suicide and I hate my life and all these other things, right? And now it's about protecting snowflakes from their political uh, uh, opinions or lack thereof or or as someone who, uh, 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 an adult who decides to cut off his penis and insert, of, you know, and, and install a vagina, is having a hard time coping with his feelings. So the rest of the world must revolve around the feelings of the, of the, the one who decided to chop off his penis and, and, and such, right? But now it's, it's uh, in, in the old days, you could have made an argument that, you know, saying dick and pussy and all these other uh, quote, you know, vile words, uh, were, uh, were corrupting our children, but now it's gone even further. So what the hell is going on here? Honk, honk. I, I'm new to this, so I, I don't know what the hell it is, but let's look at it together. So Facebook has banned the word honk for violating their community standards. And, uh, we'll look at also the, the PMRC. This is, this is not that unfamiliar to me, right? I was involved, I told you, I, I've, I've said it before, I was in a band called Barney Rubble and the Cunt Stubble. Right? It was just a bunch of friends, we tried to make the most vile, disgusting, offensive, and highly creative and intelligent uh, uh, music that would, would, would break through in the late 80s and uh, into the uh, early 90s. And we, we were, so we were right in the middle of the, uh, the PMRC, you know, with Bands like Two Live Crew were getting shut down, and labels were being put on, on, um, on CDs. So the you know parental discretion, parental advisory stickers were placed on on uh, audio recordings because it was supposed to protect the kids from from uh, obscenity. But what, is this the same? Is this the same thing? I mean, I, again, that's why I'm I'm talking about it because. I was uh, kind of uniquely positioned at that time to talk about that sort of censorship, but this is ridiculous. Say the word honk for what? Who are we protecting? Who are we protecting with taking the word honk out of the Facebook vocabulary? Allegedly, it has something to do with politics, right? Some kind of anti-white, anti-Semitic, anti-national. I don't know. We're gonna find out. But bad news today for those who love to chat on Facebook about cars. Especially when you need to honk your horn. <laughs> this shit is crazy. Right? So, so that's right. Just, just when you thought censorship for, from social media outlets like Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter had hit a fever pitch, it's now being reported that Facebook is removing the word honk from its platform. And here's what you see when you write honk. We remove something you posted. It looks like something you posted it doesn't follow our community standards it's i'm telling you what it is it's political censorship it's this is the build up for the for the uh the election to you know oh the, these are the, these are the radicals the people that have a different a different opinion of the establishment pick right uh, are radicals and uh, we're going to shut them down right? that's what it is so make up some stuff honk right? see rich people don't care Rich people don't get to see this is here's the deal about social media. Social media is for regular people, right? We have a vested interest. Like you build up a community of friends and and maybe you have a following, maybe you follow somebody, whatever. And and uh, it becomes part of who you are. Now, wealthy people don't really give a shit about that, right? If you if you challenge their money, oh boy, now we got a problem. But but for them to to piss on people's opinions. Right and 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 censor them out is is um it's very aggressive to the person, right? It's an aggressive attack. When you tell me I can't say what I gotta say, it's a it's it's a a uh, it's it's a violation of what I like to do, right? It's all I got, right? I don't got a million dollars. I can't get on a plane and and fly here and there, and you know I, I don't I can't buy people's influence, but I got my my voice, right? And that's what they're trying to take away from people, right? So and and it was it's very reminiscent of the uh, the late eighties and early nineties. I'll show you Tip of Gore and the PMRC and and Al Gore and all that stuff. 
As we drift further into an algorithm of idiocracy, mixed with a brave new world, the ban of the word honk attributes to the clown world meme. We'll take a look at this. A nihilistic joke that many are adapting to protest the last few years of liberal censorship has been the next inevitable step towards total overreach by our new Silicon Valley overloads. So social media companies continue to enforce their radical left ideologies across their platforms at a frightening pace. (laughs) For instance, Facebook banned uh, natural news over the weekend. 1.5 million followers, I don't know, because of a hit piece. The Daily Beast writes a hit piece uh, on Mike Adams. uh, So, so... Mainstream media could write a hit piece and they could they could knock you right out of the game. Right? So so that's it, right? The honk banned the latest action in a long line of increasingly ide- ideological censorship lunacy. Right? So what the hell is this? What is this? What is this? What is this shit honk that you can't say on Facebook? What is it? Right? So <laughs> clown peppy. Right, this is Clown Meet Clown Peppy, right? Clown Peppy, also known as Honk 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 or Honkler, is a depiction of Peppy the Frog wearing a rainbow wig and red clown nose, which is often uh, accompanied by jokes with corny or cringeworthy punchlines and emoses, meant to represent the phrase clown world. Okay. In in February 2019, racist and anti-Semitic variations of the character named Honkler began appearing on 4chan's poll image board. Uh, Additionally, the character is associated with the term honk pill, which is often described as an absurdist alternative to black pill nihilism, allowing a person to appreciate the humor in an absurd universe, interpreting existences as a cosmic joke. Oh my God, how foul! How, how despicable to have a, a, a deep intellectual thought about clowns. Ban it. Right? That's what it is. So the exact origin of clown theme Peppy Illustrated is unclear. Uh, so here it is, man. It's just what, it, what the hell? What next, right? I mean, it could be, why not ban like a, like a, I mean, I thought maybe it would be like, you know, a clown with a with a penis sticking out of his ear or a fucking pussy on his face. Maybe something, something, you know, say fuck you, the clown, fuck you. <laughs> you know, maybe something, something obscene, but it's nothing. It's nothing. It's it's pseudo psycho bullshit about anti Semitic. Oh, you hate Jews. You fucking he's a Jew hating clown. You clown, you fucking hate Jews. Is that what it is? So here's the clown. Can't make it up. Right, so there's the fucking clown. Now here's a, here's this is interesting, right? So here's a, I, I believe she's the snowflake, right? So she dressed herself up as a snowflake. Where's this coming from? Little lunchbox. Little lunchbox. I don't know who this person is, but just listen to the rant. It's hysterical. And I'm disgusted. And I made a video ranting about it, but I don't even think I want to post it because I don't want to give them that much attention. We'll see what, where it goes. You know, I'll, I'll... A spokesperson of her generation. Keep the video on ice and we'll, we'll just see how far they want to take this. But I'm ready to go to war. I'm ready to go to motherfucking core. You're not going to take a symbol of happiness and acceptance and and multiculturalism and turn it into something racist and anti-Semitic and homophobic and transphobic. You're not going to do that on my watch. You're not. So Pepe, he belongs to me now. Pepe the the frog with his curly ass Afro clown wig belongs to me. That is a symbol of the resistance now. I encourage you all to share. I'm going to Photoshop a picture of Pepe with the with just tons of pro LGBTQ symbols and pro black symbols and 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 we are taking Pepe back. He's mine. I'm a do- 
when I first watched this, I couldn't I couldn't really believe what I was seeing. The the just the the emotionally disturbedness of the whole thing. Right? And the and people want to make laws and ban speech to protect broken, you know, defected characters like this. Now I I, I respect her right to speak and 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 say whatever the hell she wants. She could put a fucking you know, I, I don't shave your head off and shave your fucking shave shave everything. I don't care. You know what I mean? Paint your face black, white, red, yellow. Who cares? I, I don't care. Right? And no one else should care. But when Facebook goes to bat and bans speech that allegedly insults this kind of person, now we have a problem. Adopting him. I'm saving him from these freaks, these degenerates who think that it's okay to take a symbol of, of happiness and, and just, just, it's disgusting. It literally, it's sickening. It's sickening that people would take such a positive thing like clowns and try to make it into a symbol for your racism. You're pathetic. The clown emoji belongs to us, the Lunchables. Pepe the Frog, the clown version, and just him in general, honestly, because he's been through a lot. He belongs to us, the Lunchables. You thought, you really thought, you neck beard, Cheeto, dust, butt sniffing, fart sniffing, living with your mother, father, grandma, I don't care, you fucking assholes. Hey, don't talk about my grandmother. I have adopted Pepe and he's mine. They want to, oh, we're going to put the symbol out there. You put it out there. Well, guess what? I grabbed his ass and now he's mine. All right. So you get the gist of that. Snowflake run wild, right? So so it's not, she's, she's allegedly suggesting that the clown has hijacked her right to be a lesbian or a Cheeto eating, whatever, right? right? Her, her lesbianism or her, her gay lesbian, you know, love of everybody, right? Right. That the clown, that someone's interpretation of a clown uh, that is nationalist or or pro American or whatever it is, whatever whatever the pro right, who, who knows, right? It's all the same to me. I, it, it's just expression. It's just words and speech, right? But this crazy person uh, believes that you don't have that right. You don't have that right to to play with the clown. The clown is mine. I know. Am I unfamiliar with this shit? This is my. I, I, I mean, it's not self promotion, but I just wanted to show you where I come from. Nineteen. 1989, and in, in in a van, in the heat of in the heat of the summer, a bunch of friends of uh, mine, my friends, it was really just friends, and we put a band together called Barney Rubble and the Cunt Stubble. And these, yeah, fuck me, you pig! Yeah, lick that little piece of shit off my dick. She wants to rock. I want to rock. So, you know, so there's the lyrics. Anal fixation running through my mind. I reach for the jelly. I I grease your behind. Right? Those are just, I mean, it's just words. It's just expression, right? Remember, like, you can check that. I'll leave the link down below if you want to listen to listen to my music from the 80s. That's me singing, by the way. <clears throat> I mean, but that's what we did. I was just a bunch of friends, you know? We fucking, you know, Ziggy the midget and a six-foot prick. Ziggy the midget and a six foot prick. Oh, Ziggy the midget and a six foot prick. They're just funny songs, right? Or, wish I was the open leg hero. I wish I was going down on you. It's just words, right? It's just poetry. It's just maybe another joint. You'll get my point. Maybe another beer and things will seem clear. Drink a little beer, get a little high. Come on, try. 
Then I'll be dancing between your thighs. Wish I was your open leg hero. <laughs> so is it vile? Is it val, uh, vile or foul or any of those things? Well, people in the, in the 80s thought it was. And here's Tip of Gore, right? So let's check, check it out. So here's Tip of Gore. The then, um, I guess he was the senator. Al Gore was the senator in the 80s before he became the vice president under Bill Clinton. But here's his lovely wife, Tipper. Motley Crue, Prince, ZZ Top. These this is just a, a, a news piece from, I guess, 1986. Wow, old. These are a few of the rock musicians criticized by Tennessee Senator Albert Gore's wife, Tipper. Mrs. Gore has joined forces with state and national PTA members to combat what she considers sexually explicit and violent lyrics. Our songs about glorifying incest, their songs about rape, thrill killing, uh, sadomasochism. There's a song that goes, quote, not a woman but a whore, I can taste the hate. Well now I'm killing you, watch your face turning blue, unquote by a group that has sold two million copies of that particular album. They're very popular with young kids. Recording studios voluntarily responded to the campaign against heavy metal songs. So that parents can see what their kids are buying, many records now contain sexually explicit warnings on the label. The labels merely read parental advisory, explicit lyrics, but area teachers regard that as a major step toward reducing some of the influence the words are having on our youth. We give them an unrealistic view of what life is really like and out in the real true world, people shouldn't be talking like that and, and having those thoughts and feelings and we feel like one of the major problems with the teen suicide may be listening to those records and one young ZZ Top fan said he sees no reason for all the fuss. You no, know, it's just words. How well, you know, you want to relate to the words. It's just words. But Tipper Gore and PTA members say those words cross the line between sensuality and hardcore sexuality that young people should not be exposed to. Cater Lee, New Center 12. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's just, uh, there's Tipper Gore. In the 80s, protecting the children against the, the, the offensive lyrics, like in, in Ozzy Osbourne. Oh, as he said suicide, that means the kids are going to run the suicide. No, it's actually the opposite. I mean, Marilyn Manson was probably the best um, outspoken person. In, I think most people know him from Bowling for Columbine when he was in, on Mike, in Michael Moore's movie. And he said that, that people didn't listen to the kids, right? They, that's the problem. It's like, what would you say to the kids... I, and Marilyn Manson turned around and said, I wouldn't say anything. I would listen to what they have to say. Right? And that's, that's kind of, uh, I think that's what, that's what music certainly was to me. I wasn't singing, you know, about dick and pussy to offend you. Although, I, I mean, it was, it, it was interesting that, that uh, by doing that, you would get such a vile reaction, such a, a uh, knee-jerk reaction from certain people. And other people would just laugh their ass off, like, you know, it was right around the time Dice Clay started to get some, some uh, uh, movement as well. So it was a, it was a combination of comedy and, and rock and roll, but the but the reality is that I was singing songs that made sense to me. You know, we stick our dicks in retarded chicks, or you know, it was just something that it was just something that was stupid and funny, right? It was two guys talking about two guys in a band. They were talking about a, a show about about retarded people having sex. And I was like, oh, that's pretty funny, you know? It's just, it's just funny, right? There's no, there's no deeper meaning of going out to rape, you know, rape women, rape retarded people. It was just funny. We stick our dicks in retarded chicks, right? It was just fucking stupid. And, we met, and the song came like, in, you know, in five minutes we had a song, right? Or, 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 you know, ass sex is always funny, right? Gay sex, ass sex, right? So butt slut, you know, or... Or, or, you know, Ziggy the midget with his big six foot. Imagine if a midget had a six foot dick. It was just stupid and funny. That's all it is. But here you got these people reading into this shit that is just, is just absurd. So I, I got one more clip. I should have put the clip of Marilyn Manson. But here's, here's Dee Snyder. This is pretty interesting, too, because Dee Snyder of Twisted Sister got sucked into the middle of this shit, too. was a pretty insane time for 
twisted sister. We were hearing bits and pieces. I think it's a little too low. Parents Music Resource Center and Tipper Gore, but not really registering because we were getting protests and, and religious groups at every show. So just another parent group that, you know, was putting twisted sister on a, on a, tar a list of targets. We have always. Uh, talked about the, the positive aspects of the music industry, but of course the highlight has been on the excesses that have been allowed to develop as we have tried to focus our concern on those excesses. Somebody approached our office and they will to speak on a more personal note and show just how unfair... So he, he ultimately, if you remember the story, D. Snyder ultimately went to, was called into Congress, excuse me, was called into Congress to to uh, D. Snyder call into Congress to uh, to speak. Uh, they thought they were going to get a a uh, you know a sacrificial lamb. And D. Snyder is a very intelligent guy, and he went in there and he blew the roof off of it. Right? You see, like at one point, I think it's over here with Tipper Gore. Listen what to. What I said, and one part was that songs allow a person to put their own imagination, experiences, and dreams. All the leap of the imagination. They were saying that. Under the Blade was about sadomasochism and bondage. It was about my guitar player's throat operation. It's not a really a, a wild a leap of the imagination to jump to the conclusion that that's about something other than surgery or hospitals, neither of which are mentioned in the song. No, it's not a wild jump, but I think uh, what I said at one part was that songs allow a person to put their own imagination, experiences, and dreams into the lyrics. Uh, people can interpret it in many ways. Uh, Ms. Gore was looking for sadomasochism and bondage, and she found it. Someone looking for surgical references would have found it as well. Yeah. I said, you know, I, I can't help that Tipper Gore's got a dirty mind, and, and Al Gore just, oh my God, you know, he really jumped over the table. They were saying, we're not going to take it. We should be on the filthy 15 for violence, and it was no more violent than the Declaration of Independence. The PMRC rated songs according to violence, the occult, sex, drugs, and alcohol. You know what I'm and saying? So, so there you go, right? So there's this. Operations. So there's history. What I'm trying to say is there's history repeating itself. So we got this. We got Facebook banning, banning words. Honk, is now the equivalent of 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 dick and pussy and suicide and and uh, uh, I hate myself and and um, other cries for help. Um, or or expressions of sexual repression, or whatever it is. When 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 people have an expression, that's what poetry is. That's what rock music is. That's what what I, I guess social media now is. Certainly for me, it is. That's what I mean. I guess I'm the fucking you know, I'm, I'm the rock star. I'm fucking rock and roll guy, right? Rock and roll, bringing that bringing that vibe to. To uh, YouTube, bringing it to to you know forward in the way that I do it, right? And and um, you know so far censorship. Uh, I mean honk. I I just I don't even know what to make of it. You know what I mean? But uh, where the, the the point is always where does it stop? You know, at some point, when someone in Congress or someone someone in a political position running for office decides that they don't like my face. They're going to say, oh, because he, he's got, you know, he's, he's one of those long-haired guys, man. He's fucking, oh, that guy, that guy's going to corrupt your kids. He's going to, he's, he's against gays and he's against blacks and he's against Jews and he's, right? And they'll make, they make up a story about you, right? Like they did with D. Snyder. And then one day, maybe, just maybe you have a chance to go to Congress and say, no, that's not what it's about at all, right? <laughs> I just told you, like, we stick our dicks in retarded chicks is not a song about, you know, about raping a retarded woman. It's about, it's a, it was something funny that was on TV about retarded people uh, having sex. Right? So it's, it's just, it's just all in the interpretation. Where, where, that's the, that's the essence of the First Amendment, freedom of speech, freedom to express oneself, freedom, freedom to, um, you know, freedom to, to publish it, right? That's what, that's what's going on here. So, uh, so I don't know. I mean, push back, honk honk, right? I don't know. Is it now banned on on YouTube too? Is this honk honk? Is are we gonna ban? I, I don't know, man. Marcus Conte reporting.